Good morning everyone and hello to my humble abode again. What the purpose of my manual farm was, was to see if I could actually automate the uh, production of industrial hemp. But it doesn't look as though I can, at least not with crops. And I have no idea. I shall have to do some more research. Having said that, the output from those few plants is actually quite large. Let's go and have a quick look. Here we have the hemp plants, some of these are already mature. In fact, quite a few of these are mature. So let's just do this, take some seeds here with the, with the seeds. Just right click the mature ones. Oops, didn't mean to do that one. It's quite difficult just to get the one you want. What I already have here is quite a large number of these industrial hemp fibers is what we're really after. The seeds would be great for doing the next stage of uh, immersive engineering if you wanted to create a biofuel plant. But I'll have to figure that out some other time. So let's go down to the bottom here. To where we have the uh, immersive engineering stuff. And let's have a look. Now what we'd like to make are improved um, windmill. So let's have a look at that. So immersive engineering. Here's the improved windmill. So in this case we want one steel in it, which you have plenty of, and eight of these improved windmill blades. So that represents one windmill blade plus four to fabrics. For the fabrics is one stick surrounded by string. Okay, let's do that first of all. Sticks. I've got absolutely tons of wood now, so. Let's do half of those. Give me 20 sticks. So we're going to need quite a lot of these. That'll make eight. Make 16. Uh, we'll get 20 out of here, which we have. Don't know whether that's going to be any. Yes, that should be plenty. In fact, I've already got 10. So, and now we need some more sticks. Okay, I don't have as much wood down here as I should have. Let's go upstairs to the workshop and get some more wood. In fact, let's take a couple of stacks of that, those planks. If I go up to the, up to the ground floor, I've now put in some better barrels for the huge amounts of wood I've been getting from the uh, for the arboretum. So let's just take a, a couple of these stacks here. Put that into the sawmill over here. So that'll start producing uh, wood, sawdust and spruce planks very quickly. So back down to the uh, workshop and then we can go down from here to the immersive engineering section. I should put a travel anchor here, shouldn't I? So windmill blades. Windmill blades are made up of, a so look, treated wood planks and treated sticks so we need some treated wood so we have 64 let's treat the 64 if I remember what I have to do is to surround a creosote in fact the cheapest way of doing this is to use bottles because bottles only take three pieces of glass okay so we need some treated sticks, four per... Maybe that will do. That will produce four blades, I think, so I need some more. OK. 
Okay, let's go back to the recipe here. So this will give me eight windmill blades, I hope. Indeed. Now for the improved windmill we need eight improved windmill blades and one steel ingot. Okay, I think I should have enough now. So let's put those up there. I don't think I'm gonna go have enough of these yet. We'll one short by the looks of it. Need two more tough hemp to fiber. So we yes, we have plenty. It was around the stick, wasn't it? And I do that this way. So, back to the design. We need to make these, don't we? So let's, we need one more of these. So I'm doing that is to simply splitting it to four. So now we have our eight. So we need one steel ingot in the middle, surrounded by eight. I'm sure we have the improved windmill. So let's go and install that. The front door. Just turn the jet back on. There's actually no reason why I can't install this on the other side of one of these windmills actually, I believe. see that's turning faster and we should be producing more energy but that's difficult to measure. Have a look what we've got there. He's actually quite easy to deal with with your nano saber. In fact this resident energy cell is already completely full, so the windmills have generated a lot of power in a relatively short period of time, which is great to know. And then here, let's go and have a quick look at the farm once more. I still haven't figured it out. I do understand that crops just are standard crops like wheat and barley. Um, Pete's working fine. But I'm not sure about the rubber plantation or the orchard. But here I found a special block. You see here, for some reason or other, when I stand on this block here, oops, missed. I, I just start getting XP. It just keeps going and I'm going and going. What I haven't shown you yet is my end portal. Somewhere down here. I found my other There we are. Let's go and have a look. Sure enough, this is an end portal. And I've activated it with some ender eyes and I've got to watch out for these little swordfish because they're a pain as well. In fact, I don't really want to go down here very much. But, okay, let's go about. And there's lots of fish Okay, this is a silver fish spawn, obviously. <coughs> I can't see a point of having silver fish, so I'm going to simply leave it there. I 
I could take it in the dolly and do something with it. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go back to the farm now. Oh, there's a stronghold, which is actually outside. And that's what the stronghold looks like. And to find the stronghold, you simply throw ender pearls and go in the direction. But you have to know approximately where it is. You have to be around about 125 blocks from the zero zero point. And that's where zero zero is here. So, I hope you found this short video interesting, and until next time, bye for now.